Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video on the most common Chrysler 4.7 PowerTech engine problems. The Chrysler 4.7 liter V8 PowerTech engine was produced from 1999 up until 2009 and is found primarily in Dodge and Jeep models, including the Ram 1500, Dodge Durango, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This engine offers anywhere from 235 to 265 horsepower, as well as 295 to 330 foot-pounds of torque. With that said, we'll just go ahead and jump straight into some of the most common problems and failures on the 4.7 liter power tech. Number one on the list, we have issues with the head gasket. So head gasket failure is something that a lot of different cars and engines are prone to as they get older and have higher mileage, especially once you get to that 10 plus year old at 120,000 plus mile ballpark. Head gasket failures become much more common on a lot of vehicles just due to normal wear and tear. And that is also the case with the 4.7 power tech. However, that's for they're exasperated by the fact that the 4.7 liter V8 doesn't have the strongest head gasket around, and the head gasket is one of the more well-known and discussed issues with the 4.7 PowerTech. If an engine is allowed to overheat excessively or for extended periods of time, that almost always leads to issues with the head gasket, and that is very much the case with the Dodge and Chrysler 4.7 PowerTech engine. It is very prone to head gasket failure when it overheats, and so that's really one of the big things to be on the lookout for with the 4.7 PowerTech. Some engines are able to withstand brief or minor overheating. However, it seems like the 4.7 PowerTech is just not very good at handling the overheating when it comes to the head gasket. So again, something to be on the lookout for. If you do notice that your 4.7 liter V8 is starting to overheat, then go ahead and try to pull over in a safe location and shut down the engine as soon as possible, since any overheating can lead to a very sudden failure of the head gasket. That leads us into our second common problem, and that is issues with the cooling system. The cooling system on the 4.7 liter PowerTech is certainly not one of its strongest points. There are a number of issues and failures known within the cooling system. However, nothing is really more common than any other one cooling system issue. Instead, there are a couple different problems with the cooling system. The radiator, the water pump, and some coolant hoses are a few of the weaker points on the 4.7 liter PowerTech. So if you run into any of those issues, issues, and this really ties back into the head gasket failure. These head gaskets are relatively weak and not great at withstanding any overheating. So if you have any problems with the cooling system, it's again important to pull over as soon as possible in a safe location, shut down the engine, and get it towed rather than letting the engine run or trying to stretch and drive it a few more miles to a repair shop. That could be the difference in the head gasket surviving and having no issues and the head gasket failing. So again, something that's very important to be aware of and pay attention to on the 4.7 liter V8. Moving on to common problem number three, we have valve seat failure. Valve seats are responsible for sealing the intake and exhaust valves to the cylinder head. When a valve seat fails, that will essentially prevent the intake or exhaust valve from fully seating, which will ultimately lead to a non-airtight combustion chamber, and that ultimately means a loss of compression, which can cause a number of significant drivability issues, including misfires, rough idle, power loss, among many other symptoms and drivability issues with a valve seal issue. So as with the head gasket, failures of the valve seats often are attributed to issues with overheating and the cooling system. So this is another important reason why you should pay attention to cooling system issues and make sure those are addressed as soon as possible and you're paying attention to engine temperatures and not allowing the 4.7 power tech to overheat, especially for extended periods of time. So ultimately valve seat failures can be very expensive and it's one of those unfortunate issues. And again, it's really not that common if you don't allow the 4.7 liter V8 to overheat. However, there are some occasional failures, even if the engine wasn't ever overheating or didn't ever have any cooling system issues. Problems with the valve seats can still happen, but again, it is mostly attributed to issues with overheating. Moving on to our fourth and final common problem, we have valve cover oil leaks. 
valve cover oil leaks are one of the more common oil leaks on the 4.7 Powertech. However, one of the bigger topics here is really just the age on the 4.7 liter V8 nowadays. We are talking about a 15 to roughly 25 year old engine here. And all older engines, especially with higher mileage, are prone to various issues with the cooling system, oil leaks, etc. And a lot of that really ties back into rubber or rubber-like components like coolant hoses, O-rings, seals, gaskets, etc. All of those parts simply degrade and wear down with each heat cycle and every year. And so ultimately, age can be just as tough as mileage when it comes to a lot of these components. So really, nothing to hold against the 4.7 Powertech. None of these are majorly common issues or truly design flaws with the engine. Instead, it just highlights the fact that we are talking about an older engine here, and older engines, not just the 4.7 Powertech in general, are simply prone to more wear and tear from components like the rubber-like seals, gaskets, O-rings, coolant hoses. So it's something to be on the lookout for and something to consider if you are picking up one of these older engines that it is going to require a little more TLC maintenance and repairs compared to a newer car and engine. So that wraps up our four most common problems for the Chrysler 4.7 Powertech. In summary, I would give this engine average remarks for reliability. It's not the most reliable engine out there, but it's also far from being unreliable or among the least reliable engines out there. Ultimately, the valve seats as well as the head gasket are two issues that kind of bring the 4.7 liter Powertech down a little bit, and those issues are primarily attributed to the cooling system and the vehicle and engine overheating. So again, pay attention to that. Make sure you're not allowing the engine to overheat and don't have any problems with the cooling system. And in most cases, the head gasket and valve seats will not be an issue. Outside of that, otherwise, there are really just some age-related issues with the 4.7 Powertech now being a 15 to 25-year-old engine. Things like the valve cover gaskets and any other rubber-like components, gasket seals, O-rings, etc., are simply wear and tear items that are more prone to issues with age and mileage. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone.